Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've just got a couple of little Amazon parcels that I've received. Uh, we'll have a look at that one in a moment. I've had to take it out of the packet because uh, hubby ripped into it. What can I say? But yeah, but I want to have a look in this one because this is something new to me. And yeah, um, it's from Art Dot. And as you know, I've been looking at the Art Dot stuff quite a bit recently and uh, had that fantastic painting from them uh, last week. So I went and had a look to see what other products they've got. I love their storage as well. And uh, yeah, I thought I would just get this new product that I spotted and uh, see what it's like. Oh, I see. Oh, now this is uh, different. Okay. Wow, look at this. Okay. Oh, I love this. Oh, look at that. I love the colour. Uh, sorry, there's quite a bit of reflection on this. Let me get it out of the packet so it's not got quite so much reflection. So it is a new style storage folder. Okay. So we've got this fab uh, extendable handle here which is similar to some of these storage cases that you can get or the better quality ones anyway some of them just have a cloth handle you know when you get your 30 and your 60 storage cases but uh, the art dot ones have this good handle as well so you can carry it along so it's like an art display folder but this is uh, a diamond art storage book for either your completed canvases or ones that you're going to do I've got the art dot brand in here We've got a little fastener here, which ooh, has got uh, quite a bit of uh, stretch to go on it, look. So you can put quite a bit in there and it will still fasten. Nice clip. Good click on it, liking that. But it's one of those books, or like a book, to put your artwork in. Oh, this is really, really good. And the thing that caught my eye that made me think right i'm going to get this because it is a little bit more money than some of the ones that you can get and um, that are just the standard folder that don't have a clip on don't have a handle on or just plain on the front it's the fact that these actually open sideways so you can put your paintings in them sideways rather than having to fight to get them in the top which i have had to do quite a bit recently uh, I'm just looking around to see if I've got a painting I can put in here. Okay, so I've got a 30 by 40 diamond painting. It's a poured glue one, so the picture will be like your 25 by 35. And look at that. Just slips in sideways. And are they all sideways? Yep, so they're all there. So if you've got two, then you'd have to sort of like back to back them and put the two in. Now then, is it 40 let me have a look one 40 pictures so i think it might be 10 pages so one two three oh, five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen oh so it's 30 little pockets so you can get 60 in one two three four five Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, so thirty of your pockets, fifteen on each side. Now, depending on what your paintings are like, because diamond paintings do get quite fat when they've got all the diamonds on, all the drills on. Um, yeah, you can either get either 30 or 60 in here. If they're the ones that aren't completed yet, then that's brilliant. What I'm actually wanting to do now, because I'm finding that a lot of my diamond paintings, I'm putting them into like the folders, you know, where they're like this and uh, you just slot them all into the top and they're all just like in a pile that I'm forgetting what I've got. And there's some really, really nice ones that I've got that are quite old. So what I thought was, if I start putting them into folders like this, then when I want to do a new painting, I can just have a flick through my book and I can see what I've got. So I decided to get this book. I'll put the price on the screen and I think it's fantastic quality. I just love it. I love the colour. I love the fact that it's got this little... Um, 
and it's got this little catch on it now obviously this is you know it is plastic and if you start bending it backwards and forwards a lot it is going to eventually uh, break but i mean it's a good sturdy plastic so i think you've got quite a bit of use on that and also it has got one two three four five six different levels or widths that you can actually fasten it to so yeah but loving this just a nice little case for me yeah so once i get it filled up i will let you see it but look at that i love this wavy design on the front as well wow i'm really impressed i'm loving art dot stuff at the moment they're coming out with some fantastic canvases um i'm hoping they're going to bring out some more there is uh, another one that i've got on order uh, it's been on my wish list for a while and i've done the um and ah and um and ah and i just thought do you know what i'm going to get it so i've got that one on order as well through amazon uh, this one came to me through amazon as well but yeah really liking that shall i measure it <laughs> Somebody said to me in the comments last week, oh, you do like measuring, Liz. And I just think, yeah, I, th I think it's because I like to know what size things are. Um, I know when I've bought things in the past from catalogues and things, and when you see them on screen, you don't always get a sense of how big things are. I know, I've, I mean, I've got quite big hands, so things maybe look a bit smaller in my hands. Um, and obviously I've said it's 30 by 40 picture that we've just popped in. But the actual size of the case is about 43 centimetres, which is 17 inches. So that's a really nice size if you're wanting to know where to put it. I mean, if you've got all your paintings in here, actually, you could hang this up. If you're a bit strapped for space, you're not wanting to lay it flat. You could actually hang it, you know, put a little hook on your wall or whatever and hang it. So, you know, it doesn't have to go like on a shelf or whatever. Um, yeah, and I would think as long as you've got a good strong hanger, because obviously once um, your paintings are fully completed, as I say, it always surprises me how heavy diamond paintings are once they've got all the drills on. Why it surprises me, I don't know, um, but it always does. So, yeah, you do need uh, something a little bit substantial. So this one is uh, about 12 and three quarter inches, which is 32 and a half centimetres. So it's just that little bit extra. And then your handle on the top, whoops, just knocking my little girl on the swing that I've got on my desk. She's having a real good swing now because I've just uh, knocked her. <laughs> What's that, about nine centimetres, seven and a half inches for the little handle. Uh, yeah. Oh, I've just realised you've actually got a place you can put your name there, look. Or you could put 30 by 40s or completed paintings. Or, I mean, even great. I know it says diamond art on the front, but you could actually, if uh, your child's going to art college or whatever um, and wants to keep their art in a nice folder, then this is pretty substantial. So it, it is a nice wipeable plastic as well, so it's going to keep it clean and you can get a lot in there i know it's not one of the like a2 sizes um but a3 is a really really good size which is what this is it's like the standard size of most of the ones i've got and uh, it's manageable as well so you know if you've got work or to take to school or college or university then uh, yeah you could keep it in here you can always just decorate the front put your own sticker or something on the front if you don't want diamond art um, you know, you can put anything on the front there. Put your diamond painting stickers on the front. <laughs> but yeah, I'm impressed with that. Really like that. So well done again, Art Dot. Um, I am impressed. Okay, and then finally, I'll just quickly show you. This is, well, it's to make some more cover minders, would you believe? Uh, it's one of my uh, Vipon buys. Um, I think I've paid about £4-ish for these they're actually earrings but i'm going to take the earring backings off them and uh, use them for cover minders and they've come in this gorgeous little case which i now can't open <laughs> oh go me hey there you are it's it's clicked up yeah. it's halloween so it's a trick box yeah they're all halloween earrings now if you like earrings brilliant fine but as i say i just thought they were really really good to use them uh, for cover minders so i'll take the little fastenings off i can always use the um earring bits for something else uh, or you could um, actually hang them you know if you've got 
actually thinking about it, if you get like a Halloween tree, um, yeah, you could use these as like little decorations on a Halloween tree. So that's like the little screen mask ghost. We've got the little plastic backers to go on your uh, hooks as well, which is always good because I find um, I don't have a very long neck. Uh, so I find if I've got jumpers or coats on, that if I'm wearing earrings like this, then uh, I tend to shove them out <laughs> of my ears and lose them. So yeah, there is two there. So oops, it's alive, it's alive. So that's the little ghost one. We've got, then got two happy little pumpkins there, which are a little bit smaller. And I just thought for the price, I think there's 12 pairs here for like £4. Brilliant price. So, yeah, if you want in cover minders, uh, if you're selling them or whatever, or gifting them to people. Uh, oh, this one's a skeleton. We'll have to take him out because he's gone shy and he's gone uh, face to face with his friend rather than uh, being back to back. Let me have a look. I want to have a look at you. Um, oh, no, then. I was thinking they were metal, but do you know they're actually acrylic? They're a really thick acrylic. Oh, they're lovely. Oh, and that's the little skelly bob. Wow. Uh, again, not overly scary um, if you're wanting them for children. I mean, you know, if they're wanting to go out trick-or-treating or whatever and wear these. Or you could actually, thinking about it, fasten that if you've got a jumper on or a thick coat. You could maybe push that through. Uh, and put the little stopper, the little uh, fastener there on the end and uh, use it as a little dangly brooch. Ooh, but yeah, you could easily make them into charms as well. But yeah, I like those. So that's those two. Let's say these are going to be a cover minders, or at least one of each will be. The others, I said I might have a Halloween tree this year. I've never had a Halloween tree before. I always have a, an Easter tree. So maybe I'll have a Halloween tree. And then, oh, they're quite good. Now, they are metal. They're a different one. These are metal. So. Oh, so they're all slightly different. So they're plastic. They're acrylic. They're acrylic. And they're acrylic. Okay. And then these are uh, metal. So, yeah. So these are a little bit heavier, actually. Uh, and that's a cat with green eyes around a little pumpkin. So it's quite a nice size as well. So I don't know. Well, I, to be honest, I was going to say I don't know whether I'd wear them, but I probably would, to be fair. I've actually got um, a Halloween shirt as well. That's got It's a black shirt. And when you look closely at it, it's got skeletons all over it. <laughs> and then oh, these are back to the acrylic. These are little tiny ones. So you've got a choice of... Large ones and small ones. We've got a pumpkin with a hat on and a little ghost with a witch's hat on as well. Okay. We've got two very upset looking ghosts there. They're definitely wah. And again, they're the acrylic. So they're just the one set of the metal ones. And oh no, they're metal as well. Oh, right. Okay. So they're of the, in the metal as well. So it's the cats, them obviously like metal cats. Heavy metal caps. Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> so we've got a pumpkin with a cat stood on top of it again with the green eyes. Mm -hmm. And then we've got, uh, that looks like Jack Skellington, doesn't it? Similar. Uh, with the round face. Again, they're an acrylic one. Okay. And then up oh, two metal pumpkins there. So a variety. This is a brilliant pack. I think for the money, it's amazing. I mean, you know, even to pay a pound each, that'd be £12. So, you know, you're paying pennies, really, for a pair of earrings. Brilliant. And then we've got another set of uh, very smiley skeletons, actually. Okay. Actually, I think that's probably somebody dressed up as a skeleton rather than actually being a skeleton. Yeah, it looks as though they've got, like, an outfit on. So, yeah, again, not too scary, not too bad if you've got... Uh, younger children oh we've got some bats so yeah two little bat shapes there they're in the acrylic still okay and then what are these oh, they're little haunted houses oh wow little tiny haunted houses huh brilliant okay so what we've got three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, twelve pairs of earrings. 
I say, I, I'll put the link down below. I don't know whether the coupon or whatever will still be there on Vipen, but you know, it was really <laughs> worth getting. And Hubby said to me, what on earth have you bought those for? I said, I'm going to make them into cover minders. And he said, I'm sorry I asked. <laughs> Okay, so just a little bit of fun and I like the case that they came in as well. I do like my boxes. I'm, I'm a sucker for boxes, what can I say? Okay, well that's just my tall little uh, finds on Amazon, my gorgeous art dot folder, which will be getting filled up. Yay! And then all my little sets of earrings that'll be turning into cover binders. Okay, well, if you've enjoyed looking at this video, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and come and join our little family, uh, if you press the subscribe button and the all notifications bell, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you won't miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.